Everybody ready? It's Paige and today's video is going to be all about the off-campus series by L. Kennedy. I started this series a few months ago but I just finished the last book this month so I figured I would do a video sort of like a review, sort of like a guide to the off-campus series video and I thought it would be fun to just sit down and talk about these books. So the series contains five books. I will not be going into detail on these books so there will not be spoilers in this video other than what can be found on the backs of the books but I'm not even going to give you all of that because I feel like the backs are very revealing in this series in particular so I don't want to give away too much but I will just talk a little bit about each book. I'll give you guys the reading order, my thoughts on the series, and each book in general so yeah if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started so i started reading about six or seven months ago and i really fell in love with reading after discovering book talk and booktube and just book content in general online i did not know that it had such a presence and i fell in love with reading and a series that I saw talked about all the time was the off-campus series by Al Kennedy. The first book in the series is called The Deal. This was one of the first books that I read that got me into reading and I have so many thoughts on this book and the series as a whole. I feel like this is a very highly recommended series and I would also highly recommend this series. I feel like it's great for beginner readers because it's not super complex. The language is easy going and just very laid back and relaxing to read. It's also very entertaining. It is an 18 plus series, so keep that in mind. Also, look up trigger warnings before you read these books because they definitely do touch on some more sensitive topics, so make sure you look into that before starting any book, but I will have all of these books linked down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in picking any of them up. Sorry if the frame changed at all, I had to go switch my camera battery because it was dying. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have my notes here on <laughs> everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I planned this out a couple weeks ago and I was just waiting to finish the series to finally talk about it. So like I mentioned, the off-campus series does contain five books. This series follows four couples. Each couple gets their own book, but then the fifth book is sort of like a where are they now type story. This contains four separate novellas about the four main couples and this series also has a spin-off series. It's called the Briar You series. I think there's four or five books in that series as well. I have not read those books yet, but I do plan on reading them this year. I am very excited about them. So far, I have been loving Elle Kennedy's writing style and her stories, so I'm excited to read more from her. I actually just picked up another book by her called Good Girl Complex and I read the back of it in one of my recent book videos. I think it was my bookish haul if you guys are interested in hearing about that. I am excited to read it. It sounds fantastic. I feel like it's going to be weird to read something by her that isn't this series but I'm still very excited for it. The cover is absolutely beautiful as well. So like I said this series follows four couples all of which are roommates who live in an off-campus home hence the off-campus series and all four of them are hockey players so these books are dual POV yes they are dual POV this was the first dual POV book I read and I fell in love I love dual POV that means that you get to read from the perspective of both the both of the characters in each couple um, it's in first person obviously so that's fantastic <laughs> and the books aren't too terribly long. I would say they're usually about like mm, 300 to 350 pages, somewhere in that range, but it's so good. So the first book is The Deal. I rated this five stars. It's absolutely fantastic. These are the uh, covers with the girls on the front of them, but the, she has alternate covers with men on the front of them. I prefer these covers. I just think that they're cuter. Um, I think these are the original covers, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, but I love this book. This book is about Hannah and Garrett. 
they are my favorite off-campus couple this just was so good i loved the chemistry between the characters and it was fantastic so all of these characters attend briar university the spin-off series is called briar u so i'm guessing that series is about characters that you meet throughout this series that aren't the main characters so i'm thinking it's like the younger i'll call it generation <laughs> but the younger couples that are still in school after these characters graduate from college but basically these two characters meet because they're in the same class Hannah is a very good student, gets good grades, and Garrett needs a little help. So he tries to get Hannah to tutor him, and basically they come to the agreement that she will tutor him if he goes on a fake date with her. And that's where the story begins. That's all I'm going to give you. I knew nothing about hockey. I am not a super sports fan or anything like that. But that did not deter me from enjoying these books. <laughs> if anything, it made me want to watch some hockey, if you know what I'm saying. So that is the deal. It's fantastic. Like I said, these are very easy to read books. And I would recommend them if you are new to reading or new to romance these aren't super like heavy hitting super crazy life-changing books in my opinion very different from colleen hoover but they're still fantastic in their own way next we have the mistake this is the second book in the series i also rated this book five stars i am pretty generous with my ratings um most of the books that i read are four to five stars unless i just really did not enjoy them or if i just felt very indifferent about them for one reason or another. I do have a Goodreads account, so I will link that down below so you guys can see my reviews and you guys can add me as a friend and stuff like that, but this book was so good. This is about Logan and Grace, and I loved this book. I, I almost loved it more than the deal while I was reading it, but then I thought about it and I was like, no, nobody can replace Gary Graham and Hannah Wells they are just the OG couple. They are amazing. And then here we have Logan and Grace, which are another fantastic couple. I loved this book so much. It was <laughs> so good. Um, this one is a little bit different. I Again, I don't want to tell you too much about how the characters meet or their story because I feel like by reading the back of this book, it could give spoilers to the first book and so on. So next we have The Mistake, which again was absolutely amazing. Third, we have The Score. This was another five-star read from me. I was so happy with this book. This book is about Allie and Dean, which I didn't know how I was going to feel about this one at first. Dean was definitely my least favorite roommate based like on my first impressions of all of the four roommates. Dean was my least favorite and I still think that this was my least favorite of the four couples which it's hard to pick but if I had to pick I think this would be my least favorite of the four couples. I still loved this book and I loved the couple eventually <laughs> but I just if I had to pick a least favorite this would be my least favorite. Garrett and Hannah from The Deal are definitely my favorite but this was a great book. Five stars. Then we have The Goal which is about Sabrina and Tucker. And this one I wasn't too sure about. I feel like I didn't know these characters as well going into this book. I feel like you kind of learn about the other characters throughout the other books, but these are kind of like the outskirtsy type characters in my opinion, if that makes sense. Uh, but this is the fourth book in the series. This was originally supposed to be the last book before she decided to come out with the Legacy, which I will get to in a moment. But this was another five star read for me it was so good it was so good I feel bad for like only saying like this was fantastic this was amazing this was so good but in reality I do not want to give more for those who have not read the series this is sort of like me trying to convince you to read the series because it's so good like everybody needs to read this series I loved it so much 
and then finally we have the legacy now I had very high expectations for this and what I expected from this book was not what we got at all I did end up rating this book four stars for a few different reasons it was still amazing I still absolutely loved it and I would definitely say you need to read this book if you have read the other books this one you have to read it to get the whole story it was it was good there's four parts in here like I said um, but there was just a few things about it that I just wasn't the biggest fan of I was just like okay wait like why are we talking about this so much like I want more of this couple less of this couple and I was just kind of like is this really that important like there were things that I was expecting to be included and then they were just kind of brushed over when I wanted like more detail and then things that we got a lot of detail on I was just like okay <laughs> like okay like I don't know it was still great still definitely would recommend reading it but definitely didn't enjoy that one as much as I thought I would or as much as the other books but overall, I would give this series a 4.5 out of 5. It's so good. It's so good. And if you guys are looking for a fun series to read that isn't too difficult or isn't overly time consuming, definitely check this series out because it is just fantastic. I will go ahead and read the back of this book. This is The Legacy, the fifth book in the series with the four novellas because this is pretty vague and doesn't really give too many spoilers, but it gives you guys something to look forward to. So this says four stories, four couples, three years of real life after graduation. So uh, these four books occur while they are in college and then this book occurs three years post-graduation. It says a wedding, a proposal, an elopement, and a surprise pregnancy. Can you guess which couple is which? Come for the drama, stay for the laughs, catch up on your favorite off-campus characters as they navigate the changes that come with growing up and discover that big decisions can have big consequences and big rewards. So this is great it's a good wrap up and like i said it's four novellas in one so you have like four mini books in here which i do like that it was separated out like that instead of just one big confusing book about eight different people um they do like intertwine and you see some characters in other sections of the book but i felt like it was very organized and easy and not confusing to read so that was my video <laughs> on the off-campus series. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will have this series linked down below in the description box in case you guys want to pick it up. I definitely would recommend you do so. Like I said, this video was basically just me trying to convince you to read it because it's so good. Um, I love the hockey vibes. I love the northern setting. I love all of the characters. They all bring something new to the table, new and different. And you definitely get emotionally attached to these characters and you feel frustrated when they're frustrated. You feel happy when they're happy and you just, feel every emotion with them so that's part of why I enjoyed it so much because I felt like they were not that they're relatable necessarily because I don't feel like I really related to any of these characters super well but they just felt real they weren't they were just realistic people in my opinion if that makes sense so I thought it was great definitely check it out follow me or add me as a friend on goodreads I will have my reading or my book related videos playlist linked down below as well if you guys want to watch some other reading content. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any book recommendations, let me know in the comments. If you guys have read these books, let me know your thoughts down below. And if you guys plan on picking these books up, let me know if you plan to do that as well. All right, <laughs> that's going to be it. I've like rambled for the last two minutes. So anyway, I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.